Those guys look crazy though. Supposed to rain today. Yeah, it's like only 3% chance. Yeah. It's supposed to rain about 3 o'clock. Good. We'll be gone by then. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It is right under that 6 o'clock, right when I exit. 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. Out here at Harbor Island, we're gonna try a couple things out here. We're out here fishing, me and Vino once again. The tide's very high, it's about to peak in an hour. We're gonna go for some macro, some bass, and hopefully we get lucky and land a halibut. It's kind of windy, not too windy. The uh, water is pretty choppy. So we're gonna get rigged up. We're gonna throw some light gear today. We're gonna throw some iron, some top water. Well, not top water, maybe some jerk baits and hopefully the worm. But we're gonna try to get on some fish for you guys to watch and hopefully, 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 we catch some. We're gonna get them. We're gonna get them. We're gonna get them. Yesterday we had a bad day, but we ended it with a bowl <laughs> of pho, which is always good. Always good. And yeah, here we go. Let's go. All right, wind, the wind is very, very bipolar today. I didn't bring my lamp, but the sun should be coming up. Hopefully we get something because the current is ripping. Dude, this guy looks amazing, bro. Look at that reflection in the water from the clouds. Oh, there we go. Nope. <laughs> there we go, got him. This is my ultralight stick. Woo, look at him. Oh man. We got bay tuna. What is this? It's a bass. What? Yeah, bass on the iron. Little tiny bass. Well, you guys can see that? The bass with the sunrise. Beautiful morning. Bass on an iron, I'll take it. I ran to get my camera to take a picture of the sunrise, but Vino, Vino hooked up on the ultralight using the, the other cadence rod I have. Got him? Yep. There you go. But you guys, check out that rise over there, man. I, I know this camera's not, maybe might not do no justice for the darkness, but it is beautiful and scary at the same time. No skunk yet, guys. We, I got a bass, he got two mackerel. Yeah, it's, I have a feeling it's gonna be a decent morning for us. It's, it's pretty fun trying new stuff out here right now. So, he never fished ultra light in the bay, so I handed him my ultra, ultra light rod. Literally, it's like flimsy, it's the, it's the Cadence CR5. It's their trout rod right here. The Cadence CR5. The CS8 1000. So, he's fishing ultra light. He'll let me know how he likes it out here. I'm probably gonna use it for trout next year. Maybe some panfish. But look at that sky behind me. That is interesting. Interesting, it's like doomsday. But yes, it, looks, it looks good, but also looks like I know, man. Imagine it like red in the middle. <laughs> Right, and like smoke coming from the city. But back on the chest, you guys go. I may not have caught a macro, but a bass will do. It feels pretty rewarding too when you get a bass on an iron. It's different. Yeah, way different. Looks like your cast master's out fishing the Jigpara. It's not the actual cast master pack? No. It's, it's like the South Bend? Yeah. Poach your zone, bro. Poach your zone. Plenty There's plenty of rocks you can stand on. Yeah. Just stay away from me. <laughs> Look at my spool. Hey. Oh! I said this guy hit like super close, man. Oh, he's on. No, remember, I'm using a super shallow spool. It only holds an X amount of line. It's about 40, 50. Oh, my God, it's so tall. oh. 
Oh. <laughs> Tuna. Tuna. You gotta do that crazy uh, Jeremy Wade thing. <laughs> Damn, look how small this one is. Oh, he followed it in? All the way in. As soon as I picked it up out of the water, he missed it. It's not like someone farted. That was a hard hit. I hurt that drag. Looks like a better fighter. The cast master strikes again. How are you getting hit? I'm throwing the same exact thing. It's the rock. I think it's the rock. We can switch rock. Now slow retrieve rock tip down. Let's do it like you. Right on the swing, right on the swing. Did you see that? <laughs> right on the swing. You're like it's loading, loading, loading. Keeps loading, keeps loading. No, I'm just going back and forth. I was doing the crane effect. <laughs> oh. Your swing got hard all of a sudden. What happened? That was cool. <laughs> this is a decent one compared to all the ones we're catching. <laughs> Macro, so we're good on macro. We're gonna try to target something else now. We're gonna throw on some soft plastics. The wind died down, the wind died down. The sun is slowly burning away through the clouds over there, over downtown, but still heavily overcast right now. It, it is, let's see what time it is. 7.35, we fished for about an hour and 15 minutes and we managed about 20 macro. And we got something in store for you guys in the next video. But we're gonna slap on some plastics, hopefully, hopefully catch something. Uh, I, I'm gonna explain to you guys what I'm gonna be using once I slap you guys on my chest. The water looks good. It's not flat, but it's not choppy. Current was it's kind of ripping. Fishing the outgoing tide right now. Tide peaked about 30 minutes ago. We're just gonna get on them. We're just gonna definitely get on them. It takes Vino about like three days to rig up. He's still rigging up. Still rigging up. And on the chest, you guys go. So I'm throwing the Kitech 2.8 inch on a quarter ounce jig head. Fresh spool of uh, eight pound braid to I believe six pound floral leader. Hopefully get something to bite. There we go, first cast on the Kitech. Little guy. Not big, but little. Got him. <laughs> Smallest bass ever. This guy was greedy, look at him. Real greedy. He's as big as a bait. Yep. Little tiny bass. On the white. 2.8 swing impact, fat swing impact. Wanna try to move down more? Yeah. Let's try to find some more grass patches. There's barely any grass here. Yeah, I'm gonna move down. We're gonna take a we're gonna take a drive down towards the east end and find some more grass patch. There's there's bass here, but where there's grass, there's more bass for that ass. All right, we moved down. We moved down to the east end quite a bit. How far you think? Like quarter mile? Yeah. Quarter mile down, we found wide open parking, so we're gonna try here. I know there's more grass over here than there is over there. 
Remember when you get bit with that? Just pull your rod up until it starts loading and then set. Cause it's super flimsy. Got one. Oh, damn. It's peeling. Oh, dude. That thing was huge. That thing was huge. The halibut. That thing was huge. That thing was huge. Dang. I was about, I was about to get your camera too. That thing was big, dude. I was rooting for you. That thing was big. That thing was big, man. Dude, that thing—it started peeling drag. No, he took. He sawed me off of the rocks. That thing was big, dude. Cause the way he hit, I knew it was a halibut, dude. Oh, just the way they swim. He smacked it, right? Just one time, no movement. I, I, I felt, I started loading up myself, set the hook, then he just started swimming slow, slow, and then we got close, he just went, started dipping. It was like a carpet, dude. He came in like Aladdin, bro. I wasn't ready for that big one, dude. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready, no oh, man. <laughs> All right, spot number three. Let's go, let's do this. There we go. Finally. Little guys, no cutie pie, no cutie pie. Completely took the tail off. Let's rig up another one. Try a different color. Electric shed. You needed a breather. Breathe, breathe what? Your fart. There we go. First cast on this color. Right at the drop, first crank. Right there. Little like 10 inch spotty. Hook them right at the corner. On a little Walmart Arky jig head with a Kai Tech uh, Swing Impact Fat Boy. Yep. I was getting bit like crazy right now. On the rip swim bait. There we go.
Yo, this guy's took it. Look at that spine sticking out. Here you go. They're definitely on a chew right now. Right there. Go boom, another spotty. That's number four at this spot. All right, got the underspin tied on. Underspin 316 cool baits with a Kai Tech trailer. Yeah, fish is slow. You can't keep cranking it. I should have to let it get all the way to the bottom. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's peeling. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Come on, come on. It's a big ass halibut. Dude, dude, dude. Oh shit. Told you I lost a bigger one in this earlier. Way bigger one. Oh shit, son. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo! Damn. I didn't bring my other fish grips. Dude. Second one, man. Earlier was bigger, I lost. <laughs> On that underspin. Kai Tech underspin combo. This is barely even freaking hooked, dude. He lost the first one. The first one was way bigger than this. This made up for it. I looked at you, I was like, yeah, dude, yeah, you start that's peeling. That's howler, Is it? <laughs> Is it? I'll follow you too, bro. Let you know. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's kind of dirty, but. There we go, dude. You got tape measure on you? I didn't bring mine. Uh, yeah, I got one of them. Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. He's at least barely 20, dude, 22. Maybe 23. Cool, man. Thanks a lot for the tape measure, dude. Six pound test, dude. <laughs> oh, man, that was scary, bro. First legal of the year. They're coming out. This is the second one I lost today, or got today. Well, I lost the first one. You guys probably see that me crying like a little girl. But here you go, man. Well, I'm not going to keep this one. It's <laughs> I didn't keep my, my legal last year, but my mom's been asking. But yeah, here we go, man. Never give up. <laughs> Got him on the underspin, dude. We get a two, two and a half inch Kitek electric shad with uh, the 116, 116, 130 seconds. I don't know, whatever. Super light underspin. There you go. 
That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Thanks, man. Cool. And that is it. It was a good day. Shout out to this guy for helping me out. Finally caught my first legal halibut of the year. I mean, I lost a bigger one, way bigger one, earlier this morning. But the fish god has answered my prayers. Thank you. <laughs> so that 24, I think it's 24, we 24. stretched them out. 24 inch halibut, it's going home to my mom. It's not going to waste, along with the mackerels we have. And we got another video coming up for you guys. You guys might enjoy. But we caught a lot of fish today. We caught about 15, 20 mackerel, 10 bass, lost a, lost a big one, lost a big halibut, and that legal halibut. It was a good day. It was a great day. It was a great morning. Then again, Vino right here, if it wasn't for him, man, we, we would have got, got that cool angle for you guys. My booty and everything. But it's almost spawning season for halibut. So if you guys want so you guys need to get out here and fish soon because we did have that uh, was an oil spill apparently I got intel right now there's another little tiny oil spill over in Glorietta Bay so don't eat anything out of there yet but by the time this video comes out it's probably cleaned up by then but today's gear that caught the most fish is light gear using light line light leader light tackle small bait oh and he did use the ultra light cadence and he said every macro felt like a yellowtail <laughs> yeah it so did. It's good <laughs> yeah it's, it's a good rod uh, ho hopefully I'll be able to use it for some panfish this year. Hopefully go for some crappie, some bluegill, maybe carp, and maybe use it in the surf. Imagine that in the surf. That's so rough. That'd, that'd be, be hard. That'd be really hard. Be hard. But until then, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you already haven't. And then again, we got nothing else to say. Thank you. Until next time, guys. Peace. <laughs>